Adjusterpedia.com. Hey guys, it's Mark from Adjusterpedia.com. Today I'm going to discuss Xactimate sketch templates, including what they are, where to get them, how to import and export them, and how to save your own templates for future use or to share with a friend. Let's uh, start with a quick review of what they are and how to use them in Xactimate. So what templates are, are basically anything that you have made in the past. Let's say you was to put a block area in somewhere and you throw in this block area, say you're going to make it a cabinet or whatever you want it to be. Well, instead of going through this process over and over, let's say you like to use uh, wall cabinets and you know that they're usually at a certain height. Well, if you look at this real quick in 3D mode, you're going to see this is on the floor. Well, you might regularly need to use one that's off, you know, off the floor by, say, four and a half feet, whatever, 4.5, which is thrown in there. Now, if you look in 3D mode, you can see, okay, great, it's off the ground, so this is your typical wall cabinet. Well, what we can do is use these templates, and so we go over right here to Options, and we load a template. And so the way we do this is come in, hit the Load Template, and now what's going to happen is this template is automatically preset with all of the stuff that we want to use, our our wall cabinet version. So when we look at it this way, it's already there. It's already exactly what we wanted. We can make adjustments to it. Notice this one's thinner. It's it's set up to do a certain thing. And so we can still, after the fact, come in and change all of those things, but you can kind of see where they're at already. And this will work with anything we want to throw in here. Let's say we want to come over and grab a symbol and throw a sink or something in here. So we'll do a, a bath vanity. And we'll throw a bath vanity in here. And as you can see, this is a vanity sink. And if we look at the properties, as a, as a rule, these do not have the hole underneath built in. So let's just say we always want to account for getting rid of the carpet or the tile, whatever. We don't want to account for that hole underneath, so we want to add that particular property. Well, what we can do, as opposed to using it that way and always having to change it, if we know we want to use something a lot, we simply highlight the thing we want to save. In this case, it's the sink. We can save that template, so we come up to Save Template, and we can just name this Sink... Uh, with a hole. There you go, sink hole. Not intuitive, but so we say that way we know that the sink with the hole is was is included. So now if I were to go in and delete this and I come up here and do a load template, I go to my sink hole, the one I just made, and this one has exactly what we wanted for properties. So we come back in here and there you go. Yes, there's the hole is included. So that just gives you a few ideas. And obviously you know the reasoning behind that is if we were to put a a tile floor of some sort in here, say vinyl tile, and we drop it in, we want to make darn sure that that's being accounted for. So with this 87 feet, let's say we delete this item out of here, you can see it's back to 93 feet down here. So that gives you a little of an idea. It, basically anything you throw in here, you can save it as a template. Now the really cool thing is, this doesn't work on just single items, it'll also work on the entire layout. So let's say I wanted to do the entire bathroom. Say for instance you have an apartment complex or something and you have to do the same bathtub and I'm sorry the same bathroom over and over and over. You could do it like this or if you just want to have a specific set of things in every bathroom. Let's say you want to have a sink, a bathtub, and a toilet in every one. Well all we need to do then is just to go ahead and highlight the entire thing. Come up here to save template and then we could just call this total bath or just whatever we want to call it we hit OK now when we come up here we can load the template and we find our total bath there it is we hit OK now as you can see we drop this in place the whole thing is there so anyway that's pretty awesome let's go ahead and delete this for now and we'll talk about the templates a little bit more in depth now if you don't know how you want those templates in advance let's say you're not you're not sure exactly what a wall cabinet's default normally is. Well, no big deal. There's places you can get those. And there's uh, a lot of these really interesting templates, uh, like all of these um, decks, the different type of decks, two-tier decks, angled decks, just all kinds of really interesting stuff. Uh, this is deck stairs. Xactimate didn't exactly make putting deck stairs on intuitive, in my opinion. Let me show you a real quick example. So here's the deck and the deck stairs. The deck stairs are obvious to put on. It's the deck rails, I think, that are tricky. Uh, if you don't know what you're doing, you're trying to find it. So there's your deck rails. Those are outdoor deck rails, but the default does not come like that. If you put stairs on by default, you're just going to get um, the staircase that looks like this. So when you look at those, you know, that's not exactly 
an awesome <laughs> look for the outside. So having this dexterity as, as a default, you can just drop it in like this. That makes it nice. Then you can make your adjustment to this however you need it to do or whatever you want. If you need to know more about uh, how to actually do the deck stairs to have these rails, I've got another video. I'll put it up here in the left corner and you kind of get a, get a better idea of exactly how to do the staircase so that you have those particular outside stair rails on them. But in the meantime, let's get back to this. So let me just delete this off of here, get it out of our way. Now let me show you where we can go about getting some of these templates. If you go up here to the load templates under options, load templates, you see down here there's this open sketch gallery. Well here's where the ones that Exact Analysis has put out. Let me drag this in here for us. And so if you go in here, you can put in a search or you can just go by popular or down here they have each of these tagged. What you will find here is a lot of interesting stuff. Some some different types of spiral staircases and decks and different awesome things. Uh, just kind of go through, there's octagonal, octagonal offsets. So, and all you have to do is come in, let's say you want this tree, d deck tree, okay. So we just do this, give it a download. And as you can see, hopefully, yes, as you can see here it goes, it downloads it right into our, right into our downloads. Now all we have to do is take that and import it into our Xactimate and we're ready to go. It'll be in that exact same spot. So when we come into a specifically odd looking setup like this, we can come in here and make minor adjustments or whatever we have to do to get to where we want to be here. Now unfortunately they don't have the the bathroom cabinets and different things in here for whatever reason. They didn't seem to think that was necessary even though I find it very convenient. But if you take a look on our website, adjusterpedia.com, I'm going to leave a link below and you can go and we have some of the cabinets, the different things like that there, free, just download and import to yourself and use it, use it however you want, share it, give it away, we don't care. So let's get out of this for now. I will move this back out of the way. My guess as time goes by, you're going to want to save some of your own templates like I've showed you, and you might also want to import some templates and possibly even share some. So the next thing I want to show you is how to import and export these. So you're probably thinking it's going to be this obvious import and export button. Well, that'd be nice, except that has nothing to do with these. So what you have to do is way more complicated. Thank you, Xactimate. And so what we need to do is we need to go to our control center and do through there through the data transfer process. So let's go there. So from our main inbox area here in the control center Xactimate main screen stuff, what we do is we come over to Xactimate up here at this tab here and we'll come down to the tools tab right here in case it's not already selected we'll click this and from there we go over to the data transfer and for the for the process we're doing is we're importing from our computer. So in this case, we need the data transfer type to be folder because it's on our computer. That's the folder we're going to get it from. And retrieve, of course, is for an import. What you want to do is uh, put browse to the place where you downloaded it. In a lot of cases, that would be your downloads directory. And you see I've got mine in downloads directory, but I also put it in another directory deeper. I put it in my Xactimate templates folder. So you would browse out there, just find your, find your folder, hit OK, and then go in from there we hit the select files or select items and this is gonna bring up all the sketch template now since I don't have the base cabinet in there we'll put that one in there real quick I just hit that or I could I could highlight them all if I wanted and I'll just hit close I'm not gonna save the log you can do that if you'd like and there presto it's in there next thing I'm gonna do is show you the export because that's a little bit trickier hit data transfer again we're going back from the folder still we're going to do send because we're exporting and we can decide where we want to put it. Let's say we want to put it in these template or whatever. That's great. I would browse to whatever it is. Then I'm going to go in and select items. Now in this case it's going to come up with this huge possible list of things you can do. You could do price lists, you could do company headers, you could do model statements, macros. This is how you get all of these things imported and exported, or well, at least exported. So from this case we're going to go to sketch templates and Let's just say we wanted to upload our new sinkhole one that we want to pass that out to our friends because they're going to love it. So then we hit simply click it and send and boom, succeed. Now that will be in our downloads. All I'll do is bring that in here. You can see there's the sinkhole right there. Perfect. It was, this is the timestamp right now when I'm doing this. There you go. Now it's there. It's ready. I can just drop that on an email and send it off. And so that's basically the import and export process. 
If you want to get a detailed breakdown of this entire process of the actual adding the cabinets in Xactimate via this process, I will put the video up here in the left hand corner so you can take a look at that at your own leisure. It really goes into detail though about every aspect of it, so it's a really good video. Also, don't forget, if you want to get these other cabinet templates that we've got on our site, it's adjusterpedia.com. I'm going to leave the details in the description down there below to link off to that. Everything we got there is free. Plus, there's a lot of other videos to, to help you through the process and just how to get started in adjusting all together is on there. Hope all this helps. You have a good day. Adjusterpedia.com.